Blessed people of God, children of the Most High God, uh, we greet you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm with my wife here. We, we just feel uh, we have to send you the message of encouragement, especially today because it's Good Friday. We are remembering and celebrating the suffering and death uh, the whole weekend it will be about that, the suffering, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, we, 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 our conference this year, uh, it's, it's, it's under the theme that says, the suffering, death, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. We know that our Bishop H.P. Chauke gave a teaching uh, that speaks of the blood of Jesus Christ, the importance of the blood of Jesus Christ, the deliverance, the victory, the salvation uh, that is in the blood of Jesus Christ. And uh, we, we want to uh, emphasize that uh, by talking a bit about the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus suffered up to the point of death and not by mistake. We want to reveal to you as a believer that suffering on the side of God is not something that is meant to break you. It's not something that uh, is meant to destroy you. But suffering, God uses suffering to build us and to make us better people. Therefore, I want to read the scripture from the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, and I want to read verse number 10. The Bible says in verse number 10, In bringing many sons and daughters, it was fitting that God, for whom and through whom everything exists, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect, read that, perfect through what he suffered. So Jesus, the Bible says, God made the pioneer of our salvation, the pioneer of our faith, the pioneer of our victory. He made him perfect through suffering, by what he suffered. So that, that teaches us that God allowed the suffering to come upon Jesus with the intention of making him perfect. And this is the same thing to us. Jesus, I mean, suffered the Lord. He suffered the Lord for what was to come, which is our salvation. And if we were saying Jesus chose to run away from suffering, chose to pull back from suffering, then it means that we were going to live under the bondage of the darkness. There was no, there was, there was nothing like that was going to come to us to save our lives from the power of the devil. So Jesus went through suffering and the Father God made it that it must be like that. Now what we learn here, we learn that suffering is something that God uses to make things better, to make our lives better. If you read the Bible from the book of Romans, I wish I want to, I want, I want to go there with you. Please just bear with me. Oh, glory be to God. Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. It's run right there, Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5, and uh, uh, I read from verse number 1 just for, for us to understand what, what, you know, to, to get the picture of what's going on here. Verse number 1 says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand and we boost in the hope of the glory of God 
But watch verse number three. It says, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame. I like that. That uh, suffering produces perseverance, produces endurance, and perseverance produces character, and character produces hope, and then hope never put us to shame. Hope never fails. Now, we learn here that through suffering, God uses suffering to build us to be men of patience, to be men and women of character, and that we can we can have hope of what we are looking for. The Bible says, if you read from I mean Hebrews chapter twelve, verse number three says, Jesus did not pull back. Jesus did not run away from the shame of the cross. So he suffered to the point of being on the cross and he suffered to the point of dying and not only dying, but dying a very shameful death. Now the Bible teaches us that Jesus is familiar with pain. Jesus went through pain. He was in the hands of the, the sinners. They beat him. They insulted him. They, they mistreated him. I mean, it, 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 it's pain. It's pain upon pain and upon pain. But Jesus never ran away. Why? Because he saw what is ahead of him. When he stood for the pain, which is for a moment, he was going to obtain the lordship. He is the king of kings now. He's sitting on the right hand of the father in heaven because he stood the pain. Now, I want to remind you, my fellow brothers and sisters, that if God allows you to go through pain, I'm not talking about pain because of you have done something wrong. I'm not talking about pain because sin. I, I, I'm, I'm saying as a blessed child of God, if you are going through pain, do not, do not allow your thinking to say you are going to be broken. You have no future. There is nothing that is going to work for you. God allows men and women to go through pain, to go through suffering as a way of building them up for something that is ahead of them. And so God allows, God allowed me with my wife. There was a time when God allowed us to go through pain. It was not good. When Jesus was in the hands of pain and suffering. The Bible says people looked at him and they said, where's your God? You said you are the son of God. Why can't you save yourself? Why can't you help yourself? They said that. And the same people are saying to us, if you are a child of God and you are going through a displeasing moment in your life, People around you, they will say to you, where's your God? Are you praying? What, what's wrong with you? But let me remind you, my brother, let me remind you, my sister, that when you go through pain, when you go through suffering, because God allows you to pass through that hour, you must know there is something much better for you ahead of you. So Jesus stood the pain. Jesus stood. That was spoken against him. Direct. People came and beat him. I said, pro pro prophesy, who, who beat you? People came and abused the Son of God without any sin. 
The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, the Bible says, God made Jesus sin. And it's through him that we became the righteousness of God. So he was in the hands of suffering. And he went to the cross. And on the cross they stabbed him. And his blood was shed. And up to the point of death. That Jesus died. Not just dying. But a very, very shameful death. That is called a cast death. Jesus died a cast death. That's why he, I mean, Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 says, He died the death of curse so that curses may be taken away from us and be upon him. And he went to die the death of curse. Jesus died like a criminal. But a son of God, a savior of the whole world. What I'm trying to say to you, if God allows you to go through pain, as we remember the suffering of Jesus up to the point of his death, on Sunday, I, we will share, with my wife will share with you the power that is in his resurrection. But today I'm just sharing with you the suffering of Jesus. And I'm trying to link that with your life because God allows his beautiful children to go through suffering not, not, not for breaking them, but for building them up. When you pass through suffering and you don't know what suffering stands for on the side of God, then the devil will take advantage of that and the devil will crush you. But listen to what Apostle Paul says. He says, we are crushed. We are pressed down. From all the sides, but we never crush. Why? Because God does not allow suffering to break us, but God uses suffering to build us up, to make us better people for what is ahead of us, to prepare us to deal with better things in life. As men and women, as brothers and sisters, as children of the kingdom. If you did if you did not went through that kind of training, it's very important in our lives. That's why today we stand as people who know what suffering stands for on the side of God. The devil dealing with suffering, for him, he turns all things around, and the devil is trying to put in the minds of people that suffering is there to break them. And that's why a lot of people, when God allows them to pass through suffering, then they turn around and they judge everything around them and they say, wow, this is our end. God is breaking us up. No, my brother. No, my sister. It happened to me. I know what is suffering. People said a lot of things around me when that hour came in my life. But I knew what is ahead of me. And if God allows that even today to happen in my life, I know God means something better for my life, for my family, for my ministry. So see Jesus suffering for you. And if God allows suffering to come to you, Look at Jesus. The Bible says he was not ashamed to stand for suffering because he knew what was ahead of him. Thank you. My brother, my sister, Jesus shed his blood. Before he shed his blood, he suffered a lot. He suffered even in his spirit. Remember when he went to get the man? The Bible says he felt the pain inside of him of that suffering that came upon his life. He knew the hour came for him to pass through that. And that's why he said, Lord, if you can take this cup away from me. But then he quickly said, not my will, but your will. If God allows you to pass through suffering, praise God for that. 
Matthew chapter 5, the Bible says, if they insult you, if they hate you for nothing, praise God for that. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying for your church. We are praying for our brothers and sisters in the kingdom of God. We are praying for our sons and daughters in the kingdom of God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to bless you and thank you, Lord, that, oh God, you gave us your son, Jesus. He came, he came to this earth, he lowered himself. He became man so that he could identify himself with man and be familiar with the pain that man encountered in this life. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we give you the glory for that. Mighty Jesus, blessed Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, our King, our Master, we want to say to you, thank you that you stood the suffering for us. And in fact, the Bible says, it is by the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ that we are healed. Lord, we know that you were abused by was so crushed and Lord that was not really something that a man can stand for but it stood because you wanted to save our lives and deliver us from what could break us thank you Lord take the glory we celebrate your goodness we celebrate your love you suffered for us up to the point of death you died for us on the cross of Calvary, like a sinner, as a sinner, and you did it. We did. Take your glory. I bless you all in the precious name of Jesus. We love you and God do you well. Enjoy the weekend. We are with you. We are praying for you. Don't look down, but know that God is in control. We, we bless you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Amen. Amen.